Greetings! It's Maxo Diddly. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can add shadow to your TextMesh Pro text. Let's get right into it. So I have got an empty project, so I'm going to right click in the hierarchy and go to UI and then click on Canvas. And then I'm going to right click on the canvas, go to UI and then go to Text TextMesh Pro. And when you click on this, you may be prompted to import TMP Essentials. If this pops up, just click on this import button here. If this doesn't pop up, no need to worry. That means you've already got the TextMesh Pro library installed. And then we can click on X. And now we have some text. So we'll go to our scene view and double click on the text to see it. I'm going to center the text. And then I'm going to type, hello, YouTube. And then I'm going to set the font size to be something like 70. I'm then going to increase the yellow box. And this gives us something to work with. What I'm also going to do is I'll right click and go to UI and then go to UI image and put that underneath the text mesh pro. And this will just help the drop shadow stand out. And in the text mesh pro, I'm going to scroll down and you're going to see an option called underlay. You want to firstly tick on it. And after that, you then want to click on click to expand. You don't need to change the underlay type. You can change the color if you want to, but I'll keep it as the default. And then for dilate, you want to drag that up. And as you can see, there's a color now around the text, but it's not an outline. But then we can set an offset. So I'm going to change the X offset to go to the side a bit. And then for the Y offset, I'm going to lower it. And now we have a shadow beneath the text. But you might be thinking, but Max, I don't want it to be partly green. Well, you can just change the color. So if I set it to be solid black, as you can see, it's now solid black. We can also change the softness if we want to, to make it a little softer. We can change the Y offset some more to really make sure it's only underneath. We can change the X offset a bit more to go on the other side or to go on one side only. And we can dilate it less or maybe more. And that's how you add a drop shadow to your text using Text Mesh Pro. So thanks for being a great audience. Be sure to leave a like if you enjoyed and subscribe for more tutorials. Thanks for watching.